Hello and welcome to the Day of the Dan Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by CBC Cross Country Head Coach Dave and Dan. And Coach, uh, we're a few weeks in the season now. You've got a couple races under your belt. Let's talk about um, both men and women, how things are going so far. Yes, we've been really happy with the progress that we're making right now. Um, in our sport, it's it's still early. Right. So with us, the regular season is all about kind of building up to yeah. the meets later in the season. But we've seen some really good progress. and. Uh, a lot of the freshmen are starting to improve and step up, and then the upperclassmen are still doing really well. Yeah. Uh, first on the men's side, you know, we talked about the preseason, you know, really kind of big three with Nikita, Pat, and Idris. Um, who's, who's maybe kind of stepped up and maybe kind of moving into that four or five spot to kind of round out your lineup? Yeah, so we got a couple freshmen in Samuel Eisman and Jonathan Womack, but then also Anders Chatton and Taylor Farnsworth have really been stepping up. So we're hoping that. <laughs> Two out of those four will yeah. we'll get closer to Idris and Nikita. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, obviously the goal is the conference championship and then the NCAA regional and to you know, hopefully have five, six, or seven of runners all running strong at that point to, you know, to score. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And on the women's side, um, you said several newcomers have really stepped up the in addition to what was already a pretty strong returning core. Yeah, so it's been really exciting. I mean, like I said, every, every week we see progress, and yeah. especially with the freshmen and newcomers just – because it's all new training for them, so they, they really improve a lot from week to week, and and um, just seeing that improvement every week has been amazing. Yeah, and obviously the, that you know we've got Kelly's back, you know she's healthy, um, you know um, Achol, and then Michaela, Emily Gates, so pretty strong returning core as well. Addition, like you said, the freshmen that really kind of stepped up and are adjusting with new training. Yeah, so we have a really solid top eight on the women's side, so it's going to be really exciting, but also. As we get to the later season meets, we can only run seven. So yeah. there's, it's good that they're pushing each other and yeah. helping each other improve. Yeah, absolutely. Now this weekend, this Friday, you head back to your alma mater, you head to Elizabeth Town, yeah. and then um, you've got a couple other races. So what's kind of the outlook for the next few weeks? So this meet this weekend, it's called the E-Town Short Course yeah. Invitational. So it's a little bit shorter than what the athletes normally run. Yeah. So it's kind of... Oh, kind of low-key but also it's good to gauge where they are right now yeah. and I'm really excited to see how that goes and then two weeks down the road we go down to Salisbury yeah. for the first kind of I'd say somewhat important race of the season yeah, yeah a little bit more a little bit more intense competition obviously wouldn't be about St. Mary's there's a lot of division one schools so yeah. that was a good early test but obviously some of the teams will be competing against the regionals will be at Salisbury and as you prepare for conference. Yeah, and even to meet this weekend, there's quite a few teams that are going to be there from the region and the conference, so it'll be exciting. And just exciting to see how the individuals stack up to, especially Pat Watson. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, we've talked about Pat. You know, he's got a strong chance to you know, hopefully return to the Nationals and you know, make it a serious run there. Yeah, it's, it's been impressing me every day, so it's exciting. Like, like I said before, we just got to keep him healthy and, yeah. and keep the training consistent, and I think he can really surprise some people. All right, Coach, we'll wish you and your team the best of luck, and we'll chat probably once again right before the conference championship. Yeah, thanks, Greg. All right, for Dave Dan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Dan Show.